Okay, so are you looking for the best brush for your golden retriever? This is a very important question because all brushes, surprisingly enough, are not created equal. Some brushes are really effective for your golden retriever, some are not effective, and some actually can cause some damage. So let's go ahead and just answer all of your questions here in this video. If you're new around here, I'm Alex with Golden Hearts, and today we're going to talk about the best brush that you need for your Golden Retriever, and also why you need to brush your Golden Retriever. Okay, so first, before we go into exactly what brush you should be using, and also what brush not to use, so let's talk about the three main reasons why you need to brush your Golden. First of all, it reduces and removes mats. And this one's kind of for us. <laughs> it helps to allow less hair to be floating around your home. But preventing and removing the matting from happening in your dog's coat is gonna be the most important one. And this is really important because this can actually be really painful for your dog and actually lead to some skin problems, which we do not want. So basically it would be like us trying to brush gum out of our hair. I don't want that happening <laughs> to me. So that's why if you just brush your dog, this can help to prevent the matting or even remove them before they get too bad. So I don't know about your golden, but mine loves to just roll around outside in the grass, in the dirt, in mud, on bugs, all the things, honestly. And she comes in having a lot of different uh, debris all over her. So brushing your dog can help to remove all of those things off of your dog's coat and out of your home. So Goldens are special in so many ways, but <laughs> speaking of their coat, they actually have a double layer coat. So underneath it's nice and fluffy, on top it's gonna be nice and smooth. So that's why brushing your dog's hair gets both of those layers. And you need to have a brush that's going to help go through both of those and not damage it. Okay, so now let's talk about what brush you should be using for your Goldens coat. Okay, so here I have the slicker brush and we'll make sure that we include all of this below. I got mine easily on Amazon. So basically it has fine wired angled teeth that get into the nice undercoat and then also helps to smooth the long hair on the top. Now some brushes may have rubber tips and just be really careful and go really lightly so that it's not painful for your dog. And if you're just beginning to brush your dog or introducing a new brush, all that I did with my dog is just showed her the brush, let her sniff it, let her smell it, and sometimes I'll put it away, bring it back out so it's familiar, and then as I'm brushing, just giving her lots of treats, and she just knows that it's a nice, great experience. That way, the dog is not traumatized if you're just coming at them with this new object that they are not familiar with and just kind of brushing them. It could be traumatizing for your dog, so just make sure to ease in, let them get familiar with it, and just give them lots of treats at first while you're brushing them, and they will love the experience. Experience. Mine definitely does. So the undercoat rake may be for dogs that actually have more of a thicker coat or longer hair and my golden does not have very long hair and she does not have a very thick coat which I will talk about potentially a reason for that in just a little bit. She's only a little bit over one so I'm thinking that maybe her hair is going to get a little bit longer. It definitely has with time but she doesn't have super long hair like I see some Goldens. So if your Golden has super thick long hair maybe the undercoat rake might be the better option for you. There's also a different brush called a pin brush, which is gonna be a lot more mild of a brush for your dog. They're not as tough on tangles and mats, but it's gonna give your dog a really nice groomed look. And if you wanna keep it very simple, combs are also a good option for your dog. Okay, so first let's talk about if your dog has a mat that's really, really bad. The best thing that you can do is just cut it out. Get scissors, cut that mat out, because if you're really going hard and tough on that mat, Think about the whole gum situation I talked about earlier and imagine having gum in your hair that's like just getting raked through. That would not feel good. So best case scenario, just cut it out, brush over it and call it a day. All right, now let's chat about the brush to not use for your golden. This may work with other dogs, but it's not gonna be good for your golden. And I personally made the mistake of this early on when I first got my golden. She was a puppy and I feel so bad because this might be a reason why her hair is not really long. Ugh, I don't know, I really hope not. But that brush is the Furminator. So let me go ahead and show you. This is the brush that 
is not ideal for your golden and this is what I was using on Nala at the beginning and I regret it because it's too tough on them and it actually can rip out their hair that cannot be replaced. So please stay away from the firmerator. We have so many other choices to use for goldens so let's just donate this to somebody else. <laughs> So now that you know what brush to use, what brush not to use, and why you should brush your dog, let's talk about how often you should be brushing your golden. Since goldens typically have long, thick coats and shed like maniacs, <laughs> you should be brushing your dog about three to seven times a week. And depending on your dog's coat, maybe every single day, but for me with Nala and her coat not being that long, at least right now, I can do a few times a week and she's fine. And it may depend on the season. If it is shedding season, you're gonna see a lot more hair on your floor and then maybe you need to amp up the brushing sessions that you have every week. And here are a couple pro tips if you're like me and like a clean house. Brush your dog outside. Don't do it inside. Don't let the hair just float into more spaces that you need to clean. And then after you brush them, rub them down. I always like shake out Nala and just let the excess hair just kind of get removed so that I know she is good to go. So when should you start brushing your golden retriever puppy? As soon as possible. Now when they're a puppy, they're really not gonna shed a lot or maybe not even at all, I dare to say, because Nala, when she was a little puppy, I mean, I could just like pet her and nothing would come out, but you'll learn that that quickly, quickly changes. So in conclusion, the slicker brush is going to be the best brush for your golden retriever or use that undercoat rake if they have a thicker, longer coat and make sure you brush them around three to seven times a week. Okay, now I need to know what is your favorite brush that you use on your golden? Make sure you comment that below. And if you're wondering if a golden retriever is right for you, make sure that you click down below and take the quiz. Don't go anywhere, watch the next video, which is going to be 14 tips to help control your dog shedding and keep your house clean. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss our next video. And guys, remember, never take your golden for granted and always check for holes in your poop bags. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.